Who's uh, who's lucky number seven? Uh, it's an episode we've wanted to do forever. Um, one that we finally, uh, one we finally uh, went ahead with, which is the Chris Adams story. Um, you know, our first season had uh, a bunch of stories centered around world class championship wrestling. We started, you know, we had Brody, Von Eriks, uh, Gino Hernandez, and Chris Adams played a part, obviously, in the Gino Hernandez story. And it was just something we really have always wanted to tell. Uh, he is, a, you know, <clears throat> he was the charming sort of British wrestler that came in to world class and was incredibly an amazing talent. He's also known for sort of pioneering the super kick. Yeah. You know, one of the first people to do that. But he has this real sort of infamous Jekyll and Hyde sort of persona, someone who could be the nicest guy you've ever met. And then after a few drinks, he would become just a violent uh, menace is kind of the way I would put it. Uh, people described his eyes physically turning red, you know, when he would get in, in, into that sort of dark side, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but so we were able to speak with, um, and he also trained Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sorry. That's a huge footnote yeah. too. Um, <laughs> well, I just happened to bring that up. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, a, a, a sad thing that their relationship did not last the test of time. No, no. And, 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 and we do get into that, but, but something I didn't realize, unfortunately, Steve didn't uh, partake in the episode, but um, it's very fascinating that after everything that ha all the chaos and destruction and everything that happened with Chris Adams, um, which I'm sure we'll get into and the episode gets into, <clears throat> you know, Steve really stepped in to sort of be almost a surrogate father to his children which is pretty amazing um, and uh, something that I think would have been amazing if he would have uh, wanted to speak about on camera um, because they have a very close relationship, Chris's kids and Steve to this day. Uh, so that's amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, you know, and then if, if you know, you know, but the way that Chris tragically passed away is he got into a, a, a drunken altercation with uh, his friend uh, who he was crashing at his house for a very long time. They were close friends and living together, and they got into a argument when Chris was in a, you know, drunken, wild state of mind. And uh, out of self-defense, his friend had to shoot him, and and yeah. wound up killing Chris. And so his friend Boo Ray uh, is in the episode and, and 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 details that, which is just absolutely chilling. So it is a very heavy episode, a very dark and heavy episode, maybe one of the heaviest of the season. Um, but also does spotlight, you know, Chris's career and his contributions to the business. And it's great hearing from his brother, his brothers in the episode and just getting, and his family, his children, and just getting their perspective, um, on Chris. I think it gives a more well-rounded view of the man. Now do me a favor. Cause Brian and I were a, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about the season five coming up. We couldn't remember exactly how the altercation happened on that. We had Chris super kicking the female flight attendant over oh. the drink cart. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. And 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 somebody falling out the door of the plane. Now, what do you, what was the walk us through the no. plane incident? I'm trying to remember exactly how that unfolded. <laughs> That's a little bit of a conflating of two different things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there is um, the incident uh, on the plane, which. Um, uh, Kevin Von Erich tells he's in the episode as well. So he comes back to the show, which is awesome to have him. But he he details the story as um, he was being Chris was being belligerent uh, about being cut off, uh, you know, and not being able to get any more alcohol on the on, on the flight. And the pilot came up to him and Chris basically took both of I think I think he took like the pilot's arms like, you know, and was like held them and then looked at him and said, feel the power and then headbutted him in the face. <laughs> and uh, feel the power. yeah, feel the power. And um, I think uh, what happened after that was there was obviously authorities waiting for him when they landed, and he did jail time for it. He did like yeah. some serious jail time for it. So that so that's one thing. And then the super kick thing is a story that is lived on as a tall tale that uh, you know David Manning sort of tells quite enthusiastically. And very entertainingly, but it's been disputed by others. I know Michael Hayes strongly disputes it, but there's a story in which Chris, uh, when he was in Israel, and he wa uh, was again belligerent after being cut off by a bartender, and then he super kicked the bartender's eye out. That's the story. You know, he 
got I've, upset and super I've kicked the bartender. I've heard <laughs> something about an eyeball over there. Too. There's always an eyeball. Involved. Always an eyeball. It, and it's always fun and games until the eyeballs pop out. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. You could Except do a that, dark side drinking game where every time you take a shot when an eyeball pops out of someone's yeah. head. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing. Also, with Chris, I could see him trapping the arms. because Chris was a judo. Yes. Uh, you know, expert, of course, not right. to, to the level of his. Somebody on Twitter the other day, after we had been talking about it here on the program, said, I didn't know Neil Adams, the judo guy, was related to Chris Adams. Apparently, yeah, the you know, Chris had somewhat of a a rep for judo, but his brother was the real deal and was the celebrity in that world. But yeah, it's, so you got a guy who can't control his temper when he's drinking and... You know, he's also a judo expert and has the is the master of the super kick. So <sighs> trouble's gonna follow. Yeah, that's right. Neil Adams is the brother who's in the episode too. So And not the it. not the Batman artist that worked no. with DC Comics either. We're not talking about him. R. I. P. by the way, Neil Adams. Well uh, Chris's brother? No. Um Oh the other one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> 